Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. Saka here with another episode of Hearts of Iron 4, formerly known as Fascist Iraq. We are now the Iraqi People's State, but I have my um, fascist golden square uh, still in. So we, we still have those uh, policy changers for daily fascism support. Perhaps we could do um, another turn to the fascist government style. First, we have some cleanup to do. We have insufficient resources and we need 29 steel. Ouch. That is a kick in the rear end. We have unread port strikes. Ah, looks like uh, that was from the Soviet attack. Three naval bombers versus uh, my one destroyer. No one got sunk. That's fine. We have air wings with no mission. Uh, that's the air wing here that is supposed to be um, helping out with our wars that never took place there. One thing I would like to check on, though, however, is we have our close air support providing um, help in Kyushu. What I like to do is change that to Homeland and have them do close air support. We also have room for uh, 400 more fighters. So what I would like to do is bring the fighters to Kyushu. Have them join up here. And then have those fighters do air superiority in the homeland. And they have nothing in the air, which is good for us. Normal operations, so that will kick off. We have available planes in reserves, close air support and fighters, that's fine. National focus. Uh, so we cannot go this way. So essentially, unless my eyes deceive me, we are done with our national focuses for the rest of the game. So we will right click on that. We can deploy units. We have some mountains, uh, mountain divisions ready to go. We need to place them in an area that we can deploy like Baghdad. And he will be fine on his own. Um, let's see. That's a long march to have him join up. So I think what we would like to do is uh, have him deploy to a brand new army. Arm, army. A brand new army if we can. So we will, and you're at 100%? Yeah. So we'll put you in a brand new army, army by yourself and have you garrison uh, Baghdad. Good luck, buddy. Uh, once the war is over, we can adjust fire and get you uh, where you need to be. Next, we have planes and reserves, we know, and our German-Soviet war. Germany is gone, and we just need Japan to fold, which we are working on, and then that war will be over. So that is everything up to speed. We have plenty in reserve, uh, but I want to keep this manpower for us. We're repairing infrastructure in Kyushu. Another military factory might not be bad. Let's queue those up since we did lose uh, some of our factories. And yeah, I think we're ready to go. So let's get to it. That's right. This army was rebasing as best as it could. Once we get this, uh, this division here ready to go, we can make the push. We'll go down to speed too, so we aren't caught with our pants down. In 23 hours, huh? Alright, speed four. Get there. Alright, speed two. He has joined. Go ahead and make the push. Looks like the, yeah, we have our, our divisions all ready to go. 
Enemy air superiority, they have a decryption advantage, but that will not last long at all. We're going to cross this straight and push them back. It looks like we can sort of be coordinated. Let's go ahead and draw an offensive line to say right here and have them cut and go. Be aggressive, be aggressive. So we've got sort of a two-prong approach uh, to take Hiroshima from Japan. Looks like everyone is moving with purpose, which is good for us. Everyone's fanning out. We can take this air base and move in more fighter planes if our air superiority is in question. And then what I'll do... Oh, there we go. They're organizing up. They're getting things ready. I know we have resistance. But I really don't care at present. I just want Japan to fold. If anything, once these guys get here and take this island, I may wagon wheel around to take Hiroshima. How's the battle looking? We do have an advantage attacking from multiple directions and air support. It's just a matter of uh, pinching this guy off. Okay, and what I would like to do is say take these four mountain divisions and push up through here and then into Hiroshima. The rest of you guys can go about your business. Go ahead and move forward here. That's fine. Once we get uh, Shikoku taken care of, We'll join the army basically back together once we uh, once we meet them up, and then we'll make one concerted push across mainland Japan. Awesome. We are making progress, and if we get to Hiroshima, that would be cool. All right, guys. Um, you guys are this division, right? Yeah. We have close air support so we can uh, get in some more research. Close air support threes, maybe. Do we have a land doctrine we can do? Let's just work on our land doctrine, why not? We can modify our government. The chief of the navy, or we have the prince of terror, armaments organizer. Light aircraft designer. Sure. We'll go ahead and hire you. Alright, looks like Hiroshima will fall. And you're going to take that province, correct? You will. Now, call me crazy, but I feel as if there's no one here, or that could be because of my poor... Um, my poor encryption practices. But Hiroshima looks like it is about to fall. We have no organization, but we have Max the combat with. These guys are making their push to the back side. What is ta oh, we're paused. I was gonna say, what is taking these guys so long? All right. Once you guys hold up there, I want to get you guys an offensive line here. So start preparing that. You guys are continuing your push. And I want to get you an offensive line right here. And then once they cross, I'll tell these 10 divisions to go. Friendly air superiority. I know the division is still preparing. That's fine. 
but we're going to get it down both barrels here. How is Japan doing? 38% towards surrender. That is good for us. You'll be okay, guy. Trust me. This is This is pretty exciting if I'm honest. <laughs> it's like with this this is like the last push of the war. This is our last uh, concerted effort. And we're going to get the upper hand and things are going to turn out to be awesome. And we keep pushing them back with their low organization. Our organization is holding tough. And then once they, uh, once they get parallel with us, we'll make that push across to Osaka. But only once they start wagon wheeling around. Once they start attacking Osaka from the north, that is when we're going to launch across and help out there. Oh, Katie Ridey, these guys are filling in the hole. And then once they get that front line done, they're going to push. We can actually extend their front line to there. All right, so far so good. Do we still have air superiority here in the homeland? We do. We have them, uh, we have them running, that's for sure. And they're gonna start to wagon wheel, and then once they beach up, I'll combine the entire army together and we'll, we'll make our push north. Fill it in, boys, fill it in. Those zeros ain't, don't stand a chance. Come on, you guys push in. All right, they're going. Go ahead and go. Osaka is heavily defended. Yeah, look at all those reserves. So this one is going to be... So they are in a fort. Yeah, Osaka is a fort level 3. We definitely need to... Uh, have these guys assist. No, don't click on Japan. I want you to move. This thing is heavily defended. Go ahead and move up there. If we stop all the plans and have them push one concerted effort, that would be best, I think. Hey, you guys, stop stop what you're doing. And you guys, stop what you're doing. No, idiots. Go this way. Stop what you're doing. Surround Osaka. All right. You guys, delete your battle plans. And you guys, stop what you're doing. You're going to move up here. And then I'll split them, surround them on all sides, and then come across. Enemy air superiority here. What? No, I'm pretty sure we have the superiority. And in fact, what I'd like to do, we have another air base here that's open and an air wing with no mission. So that close air support is going to relocate to Shikoku. And you, good sir, will provide close air support in the homeland and normal operations. Go! All 
All right, once we get you guys surrounded. All right, you six. Push around here. Excellent. So we'll keep three divisions there. Then you guys push down through here. And we'll get them surrounded on three sides. And then we will give the order to just uh, lay waste to Osaka. Excellent. Then once he takes that province, we're going to move in. Execute your plan. Go. Why aren't you attacking? So, unable to attack province. All right, I'll tell you what you can do then. You. Did they? No, they didn't take the port. It could be that big Japanese fleet. Armies cannot attack behind a neutral country. What country are we even in? What are you talking about? We're still at war, right? Yeah. 38% towards capitulation. Why aren't you moving? Well, I guess what you're doing is you're moving troops in? I honestly don't have a clue what you're doing. We're not going to win if these six troops can't um, can't move. Move there. Move there. I know it's originally owned by Japan. What are what are they doing around here? Yeah, this is going well for no one. All right, hold what you got then. I want to get these guys across this strait, but we can't because of naval superiority, I'm guessing. All right, where is our Navy? We have four in the Sea of Japan. I want you to also patrol the coast of Japan. Surround these people. I'm guessing it's because of the naval superiority thing. Can we move over here? From the neutral country. I have no idea what you're even talking about. This is the Iraqi people's state. And we are in a war with Japan. Yes, we are. What am I missing? Well, shoot. You know what, guys? To Nagoya... To Shizuoka, to Tokyo, to Nagita, to Sendai, to Amori. If Osaka is going to be a stick in the mud, we are going to do it this way. Oh, now we got him. Oh, look at that. It's like his buddies abandoned him. Shoot, guys, pile in. Now, if we attach these guys to here, and then we reassign him to the level five leader. Come on and help. We'll just cut across. And then you stand fast here so they don't come across. We'll just form a big old line and we'll start moving forward. Because these guys will have nowhere to run to. Yeah, these guys are wheeling through there. These guys are wheeling through there. It'll be a good time. It'll be fun. 
It'll be fun times. Happy fun times will be had by all. When, when Iraq runs wild on you. And then just, oh, I'm not retreating, I am advancing. Yeah, we've got these guys sort of cornered. You guys can handle that, right? Looks like you can. Still don't know what you guys are doing. All right, so we got them squished. This army is now gonna make a front line here. And I don't guess I can assign him to that. But what we are going to do is make an offensive line. We're going to push through the heart to Tokyo. Go ahead and get, get yourself all set up. Do you need to do like a naval invasion? Like I can't get you even across. I don't care not a whit about enemy sabotage. I want to know why my six guys cannot cross. This is not neutral territory. I have no idea what you're talking about. Can I tell you guys to go to a port? Neutral. I have no idea what it means by neutral, but go. Just go. These guys are good enough. I have no idea what's going on. Sure would like the help here. German Reich flotillas. I mean, we have patrol. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and select all of our navies, our fleets and combine them up. And then make sure that, yeah, these guys should be moving. And if not, I'll go ahead and select a home port of Osaka to these, um, these navies. You now belong to Osaka. Nope, control right click, Kansai. You belong to Kansai. You belong to Kansai. And you belong to Kansai. And we have... Merge is selected fleets. Oh. Well. Are you guys doing uh, patrol here? do that and then you guys same thing you guys will meet each other eventually so far so good we're moving across Japan quite nicely we have free military factories holy crap 10 military factories everything is filled what we need to do is swap over to infantry equipment 3 and get you guys on that. We need a whole lot of steel, man. All right, now it's time to trade for the steel we so need from our, our papa, the Soviet Union. Still two factories, go ahead and make those. That's fine. All right, we've finally Coming across some more Japanese resistance. I still would like to know why you can't join. That has got me really, really perplexed. Why are you stuck? Can I draw like a front line? You cannot draw a front line here. This is this is our land with you know in a country that we are fighting. 
but I have no idea why you guys can't join. Armies cannot attack an enemy. We... And they're not? I really don't know. I really, really do not know. But we are going to take Tokyo. Let's go ahead and slice Japan in half again and go when you're able. Looks like some of the units are facing attrition, but that is fine for us. Go ahead and push, boys. We would like Tokyo, please. I know you're you're hurrying as fast as you can, but get to Tokyo. How's our air superiority here? Oh, they're fighting back. It looks like some fighters are coming out of our reserves. They've got 300 fighters and 292 bombers. But we're winning the ground war, and that's all that matters. If we had another airport, we could uh, move some fighters up for better range and effectiveness and all that good stuff. Go ahead and move up through here. That's fine. We got some people moving on Tokyo, which is good. Japan is 68% towards quitting. And they're still pushing. That is awesome to see. Oh, look, what are you doing there, Japan? You wanna try to uh, try to stop us? Oh, we're defending and defending well. What is our what is our attrition? Forty percent. Well, I know that, but okay. So Sendai is their new capital. Looks like we have more free military factories as we're chugging along. Uh, we have. Uh, I don't really know what we should do. More infantry weapons, perhaps. Yeah, let's start a new line of new infantry equipment. Why not? Put that at the top of the queue. And then put this other infantry equipment at the top of the queue. So all of our steel goes for that. Go ahead and play. We're definitely pushing them back. We've got, quote, 19 divisions, even though six is sitting on their damn hands. Cannot attack the enemy from the neutral country. I have no idea. This is the Iraqis people state. We lost a convoy from Japan bombers. Germany's sitting out here with their, uh, we've got better landing craft. We're down to 116,000 manpower. All right. Um, air doctrines, uh, engineering. We need some decryption, I would say. I'm tired of them saying we don't know what in the world is going on. These guys are going to keep on marching to uh, Sendai. Once this battle is over, we'll have him march. Well, I didn't want him retreating. No need to do that. We'll win that battle handedly. And then we'll come here and uh, we'll go ahead and get this little part taken care of. Okay, you guys through there, then he'll he'll join the line. And these guys will continue to push up. Dude, get to Sendai. We'll keep the army distracted with this, uh, this group. While these two divisions march towards Sendai. This may be the straw that breaks Japan's back. 
Oh, and of course he's defending. So you know what? Hold there. Let the rest of the group come at you. We'll keep pushing these guys. Squeeze them like a tube of toothpaste. Just work our way from the bottom and squeeze all the way to the top until we get everything out of it that we need. Modifying our government. Okay. Looks like we have a naval reformer. We'll go ahead and put him in place because why not? We don't want any divisions in basic training. We want um, reinforcements from the front. We're going to keep squeezing as best as we can. We do have our patrols here. They're trying to reinforce. Dude, get to Sendai. If they're going to keep sending reinforcements to fight us down here, then we can uh, get that capital taken care of. You guys still just chilling? On vacation? Having a good time? Glad to see. No available land route. Even though there's a straight here and a straight here. I tell you what, you guys are a new division. You are going to do. No, you can't even do a naval invasion. You're literally stuck here. Oh, me, oh, my. 19 divisions assigned, but he's not going to be able to get there. We're going to take their capital. Their new capital in... How many hours? Tell me. That don't matter. We're going to get them right here. That should be it. 95. We'll tell you what, Sendai. Come down here and and break him as he retreats. Then we'll draw a new battle plan to take this northern coast. And they're wheeling around. So if we can stop him dead in his tracks we can um, basically squish that army there squish him this way there we go good squish good squish too all right everyone once you've complete marching 14 hours, go ahead and fill in this gap. All right, so all 19 are moving up to the front line here. Let us, can we edit the, nah, there we go. Just punch right up the gut, go when you can. We're going to go to Amori, take that land straight through Sapporo. And that should be the end of Japan as we know it. And I wish this guy would figure out life. I really do. No paratroopers. Well, you know, this is frustrating. If I was a general, I'd tell these guys to just, I don't know. Can you make your way back here? I don't think you can, but we're gonna try. It could be mili or the, the naval superiority isn't there. Naval supremacy, 100%. Our friendly ships present. So we have complete naval supremacy of Japan. And yet, these guys can't figure out their lives enough to walk across. What if I told this particular group... 
to garrison that. Will you guys be able to figure that one out? Probably not. Nope. Well, we'll see when you complete your movement. Will you try to get over there? Nope, you're just gonna stand there and say, I don't know what to do. Oh, that's so frustrating. This would have been over a long time ago if they would have done that. All right, offensive line right across the north. We're gonna assign all divisions and have him go. Research slots. We have our concentrated industry. Maybe construction speed will be handy. What about our infantry goods? Improved infantry equipment three? Yes, please. All right, so if we take our Almori, we're at 95. Almori was 97. Yeah, so we definitely have to get to Sapporo. Once we take Sapporo, this war will be over. And hopefully these guys can figure out life enough to get across. Yeah, looks like they are. They'll just march across this straight, up through Sapporo they go. And then, maybe we can take the homeland of Japan as a rock? Question mark? Maybe we can get our uh, homeland back in the Persian Gulf? Possibly? Who knows? But that's what we're gonna try. So a Japanese fleet. Why isn't my fleet finding them? Can we get across? We are. We're across. So the Japanese fleet did not stop us from the land strait. We're just marching right across the ocean. Something that somebody can't figure out for the life of them how to do. That is depressing in all shapes and sizes right there. I don't see where it was getting neutral. You can't attack from a neutral. Well, I'm attacking from my land. How many people did we lose in this war, by the way? 82,000 to Japan's 1.22 million. Yeah, I think they uh, came out on the short end of the stick there. But now is the time for Japan to say goodbye. Is Sapporo like that difficult to walk into? There we go. Japan folds. All right. So, the Treaty of Rome. A lot of things are being taken. Can we negotiate for... Oh, so the Iraqi people state comes back to full strength. That's good. Can we take anything like, say... Oh, so people are already taking... All right, so we've got Italy and Japan, the German Reich, and Nationalist Spain we can take. What kind of things... Oh, the German Reich! We can take all the states of the German Reich. What are they? Let me scroll through and see where they are. Bohemia and Morovia. So right there. Iraq will own those. Hmm. Nationalist Spain, we can't do anything with. Japan, we can take Taiwan, Okinawa, and Paolu. So these little islands right here. Okay. And for Italy, yeah, Italy we can't do much with. I mean, essentially we could. All right. So we could take, what states did nationalist Spain have for us? 
Spanish Africa. Right there. So the other side of Gibraltar, the other side of... The other side of the Med, which wouldn't make any sense for us. Italy is here, but there's some stuff that's unclaimed. I was hoping to get something over here. Can't believe Afghanistan will be democratic again. I really don't want these islands, but Taiwan, Okinawa. I don't want to come out of this empty handed. We can't take all states of Italy, but we could work on, oh, down here, Etria. Okay, we'll take Etria. We'll take Somaliland. Okay. So we can swipe those up. Two air bases, zero out of three buildings. It may be better to take something with factories already on it. How about here in Germany? Six military factories and civilian factories. Iraq can be plopped down right here in Prague. So Bohemia has how many buildings? Eight infrastructure, six military, four civilian factories, five air bases, five anti-air. We can take Bohemia. All right, now we can take uh, Morovia. And can we take any land down here? Okay, we can take the Somali land as well. How about Sicily, or the boot? Seven infrastructure, four out of 12 buildings. Yeah, I can't take that. Can't take that. I like having land over here in Africa. That'd be kind of cool. Let's see. Two military factories there. Nope, too expensive, too expensive. I'll end my turn there. All right, so Iraq got these two, and Iraq got those. Now, can we take Sicily, the boot? Take Sicily. Nope, the bottom of the boot's too expensive. We'll take Sicily. We'll take the, can't take the bottom of the boot. We can take that. We have 179 points. Can't take any of those. We can take that. We can take those. All right, so we have Japan left to take Taiwan and Okinawa and Spain. We'll take Taiwan and Okinawa and then we'll take Spanish Africa. All right, we are at peace. Lack of civilian factories, lack of civilian factories. All right, there's faction members justifying war goals. Soviet Union is going against Finland. The threat of communism, the Olympic Games, that's all well and good. All right, you're attached, and you're attached. I want everybody. So that's Nationalist China, that's Japan, this is Iraq. What I would like for you to do, if you guys can figure it out, is I want you to garrison up Baghdad, get everybody back here, so we can find out what the gravy is going to happen. More allied movements, that's fine. So we have exiled divisions. And I don't know if there's anything we can do about it. Um, can we perhaps... 
We need to transport from a naval base location. And we can't enter the province. All right, does Nationalist China have a naval base? They do. So you guys get up there. And you guys, I guess you're, okay, so you're no longer stuck there. You go to Nagasaki. And we're gonna get you guys out of Dodge. We wanna pull our fleets back. Whoops. Wanna select all the fleets. And tell them to not patrol, to hold. And then we want to tell them to patrol, if we can, the uh, Arabian Sea and the coast there. See if you guys can get there. We need 17 steel. Oh yeah, our civilian factories went down because we were taking land. All right, let's work on getting these units out of here. Once you guys get there, you have your garrison orders. So I'm hoping you guys will automatically move. What else do we got? I know we've got exiled. I know we have low manpower, that is for sure. The Democratic People's Korea, huh? So I don't guess you guys they're moving to us to merge. Okay, that's fine. You guys are making your way to Nagasaki. I'm guessing our aircraft went back into reserves. That would be my guess. Jeez, it's taking you guys forever. Crank up to speed three and get to that port, please. West Germany is allied. Now, one thing I want to know is are you are you guys, once you get there, are you going to take a, a fleet to get back to Iraq? You are not. Can I just tell you to go back home? In a perfect world? Oh geez, Soviet Union's acting a fool cannot transfer to a non-naval base, so, yep. You guys are good. You guys will be transported forthwith. And then I gotta babysit this other group once they get to the port. I'll tell them they gotta go back. Nope, wait, nope, stop, stop right there. Criminal scum. And you guys head up here to the base as well and then I believe they'll be ready to uh, they will be ready to go how about our Navy okay so we have our decryption let's work on even more decryption can we get through probably not we know too little about this region so we can't get there Do we need to ask for military access from the British Raj again? Let me see here. They will not accept. So they canceled our military access, meaning that we don't have a way around with our Navy. Soviet Union declared war on Finland. And Japan is justifying against us? All right, what is going on? That's what I would like to know. What is our name? Iraqi People's Republic. What is going on with us? Iraqi People's State. So we're in the common turn. We're a puppet of Mongolia? Are you for real? Anyway, there is the autosave, ladies and gentlemen. 
We have won the war against Japan. Our troops are coming home slowly but surely on our transport ships. And uh, we are just going to have to see what our Soviet neighbors are going to do about their war in Europe. But that is going to do it for me, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. Like, share, and subscribe if you are so bold. And I will see you in the next Hearts of Iron 4 video. Take care.